Mike, are you okay? Howie. Howie, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah? Howie, uh, listen to this. Later today, we're shooting the pilot. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to be there on set. They love the energy you bring. I'll be there. Ernesto loves you, mm -hmm. I heard. Yeah. And they're going to premiere it in a party in a week from now. Yeah, the premiere party. Premiere party. It's going to be hellas, and I don't use that word lightly, hellas fun. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. You're going to meet all kinds of peoples. All right. Well, I don't know if I, normal peoples, and it's going to be that night. Get ready. Okay. Get excited for filming. I'm trying. I, I, I just yeah. have a question about, um, just, uh, can, can I ask you a random question? Yeah, sure. How, I mean, I, listen, before you do, do this, the, yeah. a lot of actors, a lot of writers, they do go for psychiatrists once they hit it big in Hollywood. So if, if you I, start doing that, you might want to contact a professional. I just want to ask you just a quick question. Okay. Just well, I can see where this is going, but go ahead. Yeah. Just hit me with it. I just It's just something about like, have you ever been like <clears throat> sleeping or something and then all of a sudden you're reliving something from your past that was scary or maybe it was, maybe it was funny. Sometimes it's cool and like you wake up and your hat is all wet and sticky. To be honest, Howie, I... I'm really not sure if you're talking about a PTSD flashback or wet dreams. I really have no idea. I, I feel like it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. I really think you should talk to a psychiatrist. I so you don't know the answer to that I, question? I don't think. I don't think so. I don't I don't think I can explain what fully happened to me. I don't think you have to. I don't think I, don't I think want you have to. to. Let's focus <laughs> on that premiere party, buddy. Let's focus on that premiere buddy party. You ever done blow? What are you doing here? What is what is happening? Dude, you, I'm you here to get in your fucking little stupid show. Now let us in. Howie, just get us on the show, all right? That's what that's my one ask, all right? I've been I've been hearing about it. Give me a bit part. Make me an extra. Make me the lead. Whatever you want. Anything in between those two things, I want to be on the show. I'm the talent, dude. No, you're not the talent. Oh, I, oh. All right, listen up, you and fucking Mo over here. Well, first of all, Wait. I can fit into a fucking uniform, and I know the difference between a good pickle and a bad pickle. You know With that being said, move over, you know Beethoven. You know what? You... you you, you, you're trying to get into my show, but it, the thing is, it's my show. It's You can't just like, oh, I'm going to roll Ooh, over. And like, wh Who's going to give you a part? Ooh. I'd rather have Mo in the show, but I'm still not going to give him anything. Dude, you're a tough dude, tough dude. No, shut up. I Get no, out of here. No, no. You still are my bitch. All right. Well, <laughs> so. you know what? You know what? I, 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 I mean, I'm not a bitch. I have a date tonight, so just suck on that one. Okay. Well, I mean, female dogs are a dime a dozen these days. What does that even mean? What are you talking about? I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm walking inside, and you're not going to be let inside. Well, whatever, dude. I'll be back. Howie, I saw you on Stacy Robbins. I watch that every night. I saw you. I didn't expect to see you on there, but I saw you. You watch Stacy Robbins? Okay. Every night. I record it, I'm and I watch it live, too. Thank you. And listen Hello. to this, Howie. You're going to be surprised how I'm going to review your performance on it. How do you think you did? I think it I was, was awful. You I, you sucked, Howie. Probably can. You yeah. suck. I my eyes were bleeding. Your my eyes, eyes were bleeding watching it. I, okay. It was awful. All right. God damn, Howie. Right. I've never. I I deleted all my Stacy Robbins recordings. God forbid she has you on the show again. All right. This is just okay. Wow. Thank you, Mo. I'm really uh, taking you your right opinion. Now, Howie, I have a little word for advice. You, as a public figure, your entire life has just opened up like a book, you know? I mean, people will be able to see themselves in you now. You're really not anything now. You're kind of an icon. You're a legend, and really, you're just you're just a piece of memorabilia now. They'll make products out of you. They'll have named their kids after you, and eventually, you'll be forgotten. The man that they never even really knew, but they'll never forget the name Howie. I... I, I no, I have to go. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you're having copious amounts of intercourse with all those people. Men, women, whatever. I'm How not, Hollywood, you know? They're I'm crazy not, out there. I'm not going to do this with you, Mo. They're crazy. 
If you don't get me on my show, I'm blowing my brains out. God, do it. Howie, you're scaring me. And action. Hello, is anybody home? I just got back and... Yeah, cut. We're going to cut there. Um, Ernesto, uh, what, what was wrong there? What, what's, a, what's a problem? What, what's this? What, do you know, understand? What's this laugh stuff? This what's is a studio, going on? studio audience. Okay, but it's not funny. You, do you understand what comedy is? I'm telling them to laugh after you say, is anyone home? That's a funny. That's not that's, funny. Are that's you, a joke. You're, it's not funny. How much are you pay in the studio audience? I mean, it's not important. I, I mean, as much as you, as much as all of you guys. We, you're going to screw this whole thing up, you purple motherfucker. We no, need to blow this I, whole set up, as far on. as I'm concerned. What are you talking about? Jesus Christ. This is the worst fucking thing set I've ever seen. This guy's purple. He's not even from this planet. He's paying the studio audience more than me. When are you going to tell people? Are you going to live with the lie? Someone's going to get hurt, Howie. This place sucks. Do you know who I am, motherfucker? I want out of this. Where's my manager? Where is he? Have you talked to my agent? You purple son of a bitch zucchini. How was work today? Sharon, I... I don't know if I really want to talk about work today. Oh no, what's wrong? Well, I basically on set today, something really startled me. It just really came out of nowhere, and I, I accidentally peed myself. I'm a, I, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit it, but. Oh no, out of your head? Yeah, a, yeah, actually, yes, it came out of my head. But the the thing is, is that my pee specifically is very acidic. Very, very acidic, and so whatever it gets on it just absolutely destroys him. I didn't realize I was standing so close to Ernesto's car keys. My car keys? You piece of shit, Howie! His keys? Yeah, you, you know, like he puts it into his car and it like makes it start. Yeah, yeah, like, I know what keys are. You know, it, it makes a car work. And then, uh, and so he got all pissed off at me. He's yelling at me. He's He's chewing me a new one. I mean, I got a new one. A new one. A new one. I might have to get another hat to cover that one. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. And and so basically I had to drive him where he needed to go. And he told me to take him to the Motel 7 by this airport. The Motel 7? Yeah. Motel. Oh, do you go there a lot? I mean, I I kind I mean, not really. I used to drop off some stuff there. Uh, but really, I, I mean, just I took Ernesto there. Oh, what's Ernesto doing there? Oh, man. He's a brick wall. He he wouldn't even tell me. Hmm. And Sharon, I, I cannot stress enough that you should not go anywhere near this Motel 7. Why not? It's just not. I, I would really prefer for your safety because I like you so much. Just like don't even get mixed up with what's going on over there. Oh, OK. Yeah, you're not going to like it. Are you involved in the bad stuff going on no. at the Motel oh, 7? No, I mean, <laughs> not not really. All right. Well, I guess I won't go there. Yeah, and this other thing that's been on my mind for a while is that at this premiere week from today, I, I'm going to have to reveal something that uh, that the world is not going to like. What is it? It's a week from today, the premiere. Oh, you're talking about the thing. Yeah, what's the thing? You're talking about the secret? Yep, what's the secret? Uh, I would actually be more comfortable that everyone finds out at the same time. I, I, I know I really I'm really starting to like you a lot, but... No, you no, have I, to tell me. What I, is it? I can't, it, and it kills me, but as soon as I reveal this to anyone... I'm going to be in giant trouble, and I might have to go away for a long time. You can tell me. What is it? I can't. I can't, Sharon. Tell me the thing. No, I, I was about to, but I can't. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Ava, what you just said is true. You need to leave town right now. There's people watching you. And Wait, Sharon, are you, are you really who you say you are? No, Howie, I lied. That's a wire. It is, but I really do love you now. You betrayed me? You work for the FBI? What do you think is going on? I'm so sorry. If it came between you and my world, I thought I'd choose my world. But now, you are my world. Get the fuck out of here, Sharon. No, you please, bitch. Howie. No. No. Yeah. Howie. Welcome to this year's Emmy Awards. First category, Best Sitcom of All Time. Our nominees are Seinfeld, Friends, Full House, Fuller House, and Family All the Time. Okay, folks, I think it's obvious we have a winner. Get the fuck up here, Howie, you fucking genius. should be so proud of your father. He is a hero. Little hat, big man, big heart. Even bigger penis. Dad, Dad. It's okay, Charlie. Daddy is strong. He will be safe out there. Mommy said so. You'll see your father again, boys. I'm sure he's got a great partner who's looking out for him, watching his back. He'd never leave him behind. If he did, he'd be a dick. 
Now eat your fucking mash numbers! <laughs> Fuck. All right. You know what? Just you, think about this. I have a date. I have another date tonight. So am oh. I really that weird? Am I really that much of a fuck? Like, oh, 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 I'm, really? I'm really? the did one you, who has a show. Did you found her on matchcolor.com? Is she pink and round like you, motherfucker? I, I'm actually purple. So that's <laughs> actually. Well, purple is a new pink. That's what they say. Hello. Get me on the show. I, I don't understand. Just get me on the freaking show. I don't. I, you're really pestering me and I'm really not howie, into howie, it. Howie, 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 howie. I'm not into it. Howie. Stop saying my name. I know my name. Shut the fuck up. And get me on your show. No, I'm, I'm going inside. I want to get on your show. It's nothing big. It's really not. It's And it's not me. Okay. So, I mean, you don't have to be worried. But well, how often do you go there? How often? Like I a mean, weekly who's amount. who's to say? Hmm. Like once, twice, I, three times a week, I'm d- once I mean, a day. I, Once I, every four hours. I just thought that I would be clear with saying weekly, who's to say. Bi-weekly, tri-weekly, monthly. I, no, none of those. Oh. There's an answer, but it's not any of that. Okay. <laughs> you ever done blow? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You And, I mean, you might think that I'm confusing it with something else. No, I do think you're but, confusing it with something else. But I, I know we're both talking about... Um, cocaine right yeah we yeah. are i real when you paused i really thought you were gonna like make me think that you were talking about something else but you were and it was gonna be a twist right i co- i worked at a fast food restaurant got it oh those are big yeah yep. you have to i mean you can't get through the day yeah we all start there you have to do it we all start there you do it you do i mean you do so much of it it's crazy it was my entire paycheck <laughs> wow mm-hmm <laughs> I mean, there, I mean, eventually I there's going to be a, you. Yeah, a documentary about me. You don't envy there's me. There's honestly going to be less blow at this Hollywood premiere party than probably in a fast food restaurant, quite honestly. Oh, absolutely. I yeah. don't even, I'm actually embarrassed I even brought it up. I'm I sorry. spilled some of that shit on the food. Wow. Mm-hmm. Where do you do work? Good Pickles. You good know. Pickles. It's right, right up the street. Oh, right we know about Good Pickles. We know well, about Good Pickles. I'll tell you what. I mean, I'll let you in on the industry secrets. Yeah. Not all of those are Good Pickles. I bet. Well, there's cocaine. Well, not only that. They do other shit with the pickles that they serve. They're not right. Good. I actually had they're Jose go pickles. and run me some good pickles today. Should I eat that when it comes into my office? No, That's my question. No, I, no, I shouldn't eat good pickles anymore. No, I, I mean I know you like cocaine. There's a thirty percent chance there's cocaine in it. There's a fifty percent chance there's shit in it. There's a seventy-five percent chance that you will get sick. I does that seventy-five plus fifty plus thirty? What are we doing? They don't, you're not adding those together mathematically. You shouldn't. Because they overlap each other. I'm just saying. So I could get a cocaine sh- pickle burger. And you will be sick. I but I'll not. be. Don't eat there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>